Alright, hello there guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, in this video we're going to be going back to something that I did a while back. If we run the painter, um, as you can see we have some new things here. Um, we have some slider bars that affect the box down the bottom. Um, this gives us a possibility of a maximum of 200 and... Um, sorry, 15 million different colours um, because we can obviously make different little ones and then draw them in um, and so what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to um, how to create these slider bars and um, gradient bars um, now hooking them up together that's a different story um, the way we did that was I made this here a gradient button with a um, active color and an active color that is set to whatever it changes is changing to um, and then up here, um, set the action that we used to pen color equal the active color um, of that square. So whatever color that square is, then gets set to um, the color. Um, <clears throat> I guess what we could have done was actually use the same method for um, this action here when we set the pen color. Um, but never mind. Um, we did it another way, which works as well, because we needed it that way, done in that way anyway. Okay, so let's go on and show you how to do this. Um, yeah. Alright, so what I've done, I've pre-set up all the stuff that we've needed um, to test. So we have, if we run this, um, a big white window with nothing in it. Um, and to start off with what we want to do, is we have this button 1 here. Now, we've created buttons before, um, I've actually had to make this function a little bit different because what we had to do was set a plus and a minus to Y so that we could get the, um, the mouse position inside the button slider um, because the way we had to do the slider was a little bit different to usual, a usual button. Um, so let's carry on and do this. I will explain in a second about the, um, about the, the, the button. So what we're going to do is we're going to go button 1. We're going to give it an X position of um, something we're going to hard code in. So we're going to go up here to the variables and we're going to hard code in bar equals um, bar equals 15, I, t oh, 10 I believe. Yeah, 10. So 10. And we're going to also in, take in scroll 1 equals 10. Sorry, X scroll 1 equals 10. X scroll 1 equals 10. Okay, um, and that's what we need for that so far. Okay, so going back down to here, we can then go into here and go bar. Um, we can also add, um, oh yeah, like, oh, why not? We put in bar y as well, so bar underscore y equals 200, which is the height that we want it. So we're going to go bar underscore y. Um, we're then going to go ahead and hard code in these numbers 70 to 75 and 2. Um, so that's going to be the length is 75 and the height is 2, or the thickness is 2 of the button. Um, and that gives us that sideways um, looking slider. Um, we then want to set it to grey. Uh, we already have all our colours um, from our last painter and set the inactive colour to also grey. Now we could change this by removing um, an active color from this thing. We could, I guess we could just completely remove that all out. Um, and then when we get down to making the button, we don't have to define two grays. We only have to define gray once. Because the button isn't changing whether you're over it, mousing over it or not. At least this part isn't. Um, okay. So we now want to um, set our action. So our action is equal to um, scroll one. So this is going to be our scroll bar number one. Now inside our button statement we now want to go if um, action is equal to scroll one we need parentheses around or speech marks around that too. Um, then we want to go x scroll uh, 1 is equal to 
L uh, cur zero. Oh, not great. Cur zero. So that is setting the scroll here, the scroll of the x coordinate here, um, to the value of the cursor, so where the cursor is on that line. Um, we can also remove this inactive color from here now. And just set that to active color. Okay, so now we've got everything we need. Screen, oh, whoops. Okay, so now we've got everything we need to do our first scroll bar, um, and we can go back down to here. Now, what we want to do down here is we want to add the little, like, button bit that slides along and shows you where you are on the thing. So I'm going to go pygame dot draw dot rectangle. Um, we also want to go to the screen and we want to draw that at as grey, so the same colour as our other bar, so they merge. Um, <clears throat> we also then want to um, grab the position of our x underscore scroll one and we want to minus that by five because we want it to be five um behind it's going to be ten wide our mouse click wants to be in the middle and so we're going to minus it by five so it's half way back okay <clears throat> now we also want to do our y position of this so we want to grab bar underscore y so that's the position the y position of the bar um and we're going to minus 12 and this is going to move it up half because we're going to have it 25 high. We now want to put in the width, so 10, obviously half that's 5. And we want to put in our uh, height, which is 24. So half that is 12, which is what we minused off. So now, when we uh, go through to... Hang on a minute, now why is this not relevant? Uh, why are those? Oh, sorry, C. Mr. C. Alright, so that's going to work there now. Uh, now, another thing we need to add up here is X scroll 1. So if we go ahead and run this code now, oh, not in debug, run it. My bad, hold on. We can see there is nothing. <laughs> um, what I do? Oh, I filled the screen white after defined everything. So I want to grab screen fill white and put it above. So we run this again. We have our slider. So you can see now our slider and we can move it across. And um, the the minus a uh, plus 12 and minus 12 here um, are set there so that when I click say down here it still lets me drag it because usually you just have to click exactly on that line um, because there's no because the width of the the width and height of the bar are very small or the height of the bar the bar is very small and so this makes it lenient to that and we can move it along and across all right so what we want to do now is we want to work out our first equation so this equation is going to be the calculation of the individual segments that are going to resort to what um, what different colour or what what point of that colour, and so this is a bit of a complex complex equation um, that I actually got the help from a mate with. Um, so we go red underscore scroll. So this is going to be the red scroll bar equal to. Um, 255, so that's the number of um, different types of red you can have because 0 to 255 is our color scale on RGB. Divided by 75, 75 being the length of that bar. Um, then we want to go times by um, our x scroll position, position, so x scroll 1 minus 10 because we have to find out what what this length of this here is from the end of the bar at 75 and so the 10 minus off the end takes off the um 
the distance from the edge of the screen because obviously we haven't got it flush with the edge of the screen as you can uh, see here there's like a lenient 10, 10 gap there from the edge of the screen all right and so that's our equation for the color now what we can do is we can go ahead and go color oh my bad equals zero 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 uh, now this one will be red scroll and down here we can draw a rectangle so we're going to go pi game dot draw dot why am i putting this in square brackets pi game dot draw dot rectangle to screen oh my god i can't type today screen and then go um color um and then we want to put it at say we don't need to put it under yet 500 500 100 100 so that's 500 500 on the screen and 100 100 in size so now what we can do is we can run this we can see here we have our square and our slider and we can slide it up from black to red which is very nice looking all right so that'll do it for this video in the next video we'll work on um putting that gradient above and then what we want to do is we want our um we want our our uh, thing to be multiplied so we want three different sliders one for each one for r one for b one for or one for g one for b so red blue green we want a slider for each different color so that'll be in the next video thanks for watching bye bye all right hello there guys um you've obviously made it to the end of the video uh so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least so if you could consider subscribing that'd be a great help to my channel um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making. Um, and yeah, hope to see you in the next video. See you.